Hello, everybody. Welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. It's November in California. You know what that means? Barbecue before it gets dark. So that means you have to be done by before, oh, about 5.30 p.m. Today we have an extra special tasty barbecue treat for you that your kids are sure to love. You want to know what that is? Go on, everybody. Let's get cooking. Today's shout out goes to the student at my high school. At my at my high school. 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 May you all do well on your finals, and I hope you have a very good week of this last week of school. If you want to shout out in my next video, stay tuned to the end to find out how. Today's kids' favorite is Juicy Lucy's. Two hundred pounds, cheese in the middle. Smash it together. Put it on the grill. Tastes wonderful when the cheese is inside and all warm and gooey. Here are the ingredients. One pound of ground beef. That'll make about three Juicy Looses if you want a third a pound each, which is a good size. Three ounces of shredded cheese. This is a recipe I got from Bobby Flay. You want to see how to make it? Go to my cheeseburger barbecued video. Links will be in the description down below. Also, Make sure you get the block cheese and shred it yourself. If you buy the shredded kind, it's not going to melt as nicely as the one that you shred yourself. Three hamburger buns, toasted. About a tablespoon of oil. Salt and pepper to taste. Wax paper. A frying pan, or in this case, a baking pan, to smash the burgers down to thin size. Which I'm going to do. Additional toppings you'd like to put on any standard cheeseburger that you have in the restaurant or at home. Okay, I've got my red board out. That means we're dealing with raw meat. Today, though, we're going to use wax paper. We're going to put some wax paper on top so we can smash our Juicy Lucy patty meats really small. So here's our pound of beef. Gonna use our hands. Barbarians. Yeah, that's what you do with ground meat. We're going to mash it all together, form it into six separate balls. So what we're really gonna do is we're gonna put it in three portions. Try and get them as even as we can. We're in three portions. Split each in half so that we can make each top half and bottom half of our Juicy Lucy. So we can sandwich the cheese in the middle. It's kind of like a cheese sandwich with meat being the bread. So try to form your three balls of meat into about the same size. This one's a little bigger, so we're going to take some off, make it into the smaller one. Even it out a bit. So. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make one juicy loose. The other two from this pound of meat we made in the same way. So you take your, your ball, you're going to split it in half. I have one sheet of wax paper on top of the table. One sheet of wax paper is going to go on two on top of the balls. Okay, now once again, this position, you're going to take your cookie tray, 
or a nice big flat skillet and smash them down. Mm. What? I'm so weak. That good? More? If you use a cast iron skillet, the way the skillet will help smash them flat. So that's pretty good. A nice flat smash. We're gonna move that wax paper away for a bit. We're gonna use the same wax paper to do the next ones. Okay, so you got your two halves. We're going to add some cheese. Cheese. You can add some cheese on the top of one of them, doesn't matter which one, I'm gonna spread it out. How do you spread it out? Not too much, not to the edges, make sure you leave some room on the edges, you're gonna smash, that's too little, room on the edge. There? A little more to the edge, there you go. We got your nice layer of cheese. We can make our cheese sandwich with meat. Cheese sandwich? Yep. Okay, so now we're going to take the other part of the meat. The better you do this, the less likely cheese is going to come out when you put it on the barbecue. So you want to try as best you can to seal up the meat, especially on the edges. I like to pinch my edges down. But cheese always comes out. <laughs> if I did it perfectly, the cheese wouldn't come out. So you're trying to make no holes, the cheese will stay inside. What if and you be make nice a hole and the gooey. Top? And then cheese will come out when you flip it. No holes, so no cheese comes out. That's your goal. Although it's not always easy to do. So you can see I don't have any cheese on the edges. Trying to get rid of any hole that might let the cheese out. And that's how you form your Juicy Lucy patty. Once you've got it formed, we're gonna put a little oil on top and bottom. Okay. So you rub that around the top. Now that my hand has the oil on it, I'm going to slip it over, rub it on the bottom. Once you got the oil on, that's to help it keep it from sticking to the grill when we cook it. The next thing I'm going to add is some salt and pepper. We're using kosher salt, so it looks a little thicker. How much? You know how much you like. This my patty? A lot. That was a little too much salt. You said how much I like. <laughs> this will be my daughter's. And pepper. And since she added a lot to one side, we're gonna not do it to the other side. <laughs> Otherwise it'd be too salty and too peppery. Now we're just gonna kind of put that in okay. And that's your first one. Now you go ahead and do the other three, the other three patties. Today we're double grilling. Got our Juicy Lucy's. I've got our Zucchini Capri sandwiches. So Juicy Lucy's about three minutes per side. About three minutes per side. We're gonna put them down. Around the hot grill. One. About three inches side, go ahead and close it. A nice three minutes, maybe less than how hot your grill is. 
So I exchanged the wax for the foil to where I was just loose gonna go. It's been about three minutes, gotta flip them over now. Close the lid, try and keep the fire down. Don't let the flames worry you. That's what brings in the flavor. Let's take a look. Hopefully the cheese isn't squirting out. I think maybe one or two are doing that. But it's been another three minutes. We're gonna take off the juicy Lucy's and get them ready to eat. It's a very nice and juicy Lucy. Cheese is starting to come out, but not very much. Good doneness. That's not bad. That one has the most of the cheese coming out of all of them. I was using cheddar, so it didn't come out as fast as the other cheese I've used in the past. Don't forget, once you're done with the side of the grill, scrape it off. You do not want food scraps to stick on your grill. Scrape it off, make sure it's on high to burn off all the excess food that was left. One easy way to toast your bread for your Juicy Lucy's is to set all the buns and put them in the broiler for about a minute. Much more than a minute and they'll be beyond, beyond all recognition. They burn fast, so you gotta watch it. Nice and golden brown. Might be a little more done than my kids like, but it looks beautiful to me. Mm -hmm. mm. And interesting, all the cheese inside the cheese bread instead of outside the cheese and juicy Lucy makes the meat just so much more juicier. And with addition to the volume play cheese, those peppers add so much more flavor to the cheese and makes this better than a regular cheeseburger. This cheeseburger tastes much better than other cheeseburgers I have because of the different cheese. It's inside the burger, but it doesn't really make a difference to me. It tastes the same, but it looks better. Since you've made it this far, go ahead and smash that like button, just like my daughter. Smash down those hamburger patties for our wonderful Juicy Lucy's. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. And just as much as those who don't watch this part of the video, be sure to slip the word Hulk smash into your comment down below for a chance at a shout out in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.